Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now do you remember when we discussed break lines in the past? Remember that break lines define linear surface features such as retaining walls, curbs, tops of ridges, and streams. Now break lines force surface triangulation to run along the break line. Triangles do not cross a break line. Now, break lines are critical to creating an accurate surface model. Break lines are important because it's the interpolation of the data, not just the data itself, that determines the shape of the model. You can use 3D lines or 3D polylines as break lines. Each vertex on the polyline is converted to a 10 point with the same X, Y, and Z coordinates. For 3D lines, each line that you select is defined as a two-point break line. All right, guys, in this video, we are going to display the source polylines and change the surface style. Now note, this exercise uses the drawing you created in the previous exercises. Or you can open the Surface 1B drawing, clicking Open, Drawing. Click on your Civil 3D training shortcut, Civil Tutorials, Drawings, and scroll down till you get to Surface 1B. Now click on the Home tab, go to your Layers panel, click on the drop down and navigate to the underscore eg underscore breaklines layer which can be found up here. Let's go ahead and thaw that layer. Click on it and you can see how our polyline showed up right here. Now the 3D polylines, let's go ahead and select them. These 3D polylines represent the edge of pavement of an existing road that are displayed on the east side of the site. Note that the edge of pavement polylines were included in the drawing template you used in exercise one, creating a tin surface. Let's go ahead and exit out of this, deselect our polylines. Now select the surface and then right click. Click surface properties and now in the Surface Properties dialog box, we want to look at the Information tab. And under Surface Styles, we want to click on Contours and Triangles because we want to see our tin lines. Now click OK. There's a lot going on there, isn't there? Now the surface now shows contours and triangles that illustrate the existing surface triangulation. Now let's create break lines from the 3D polylines. In the tool space under our prospector tab, which we're already in, I want you to go under surfaces, click that little plus icon, and you see right now for our existing surface, we have this little uh, circle with a slash through it. Right now it says that this surface is locked in the drawing. Let's right click our surface and click unlock. Next, go to the plus icon and click our definitions. And right here we have a definition for break lines. Go ahead and right click on that, click add. And then we get our add break lines dialog box here. Under description, type in edge of pavement dash existing road. And then we're going to use the default values for the rest of this stuff right here. Next, go ahead and click OK. Now you see how right now, next to our cursor and in our command line, it says select objects. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select our edge of pavement and hit enter. Now the surface triangulation is now modified as you can see. The edge of pavement and brake lines are applied 
and the tin surface is adjusted along the brake line edge. So we just modified the surface triangulation. So that's how you add brake lines to a surface in Civil 3D 2020. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.